So we work out of a shared shop space here in Portland, and as the weather's been getting nicer this summer, we've all started eating lunch outside, uh, sitting on the pile of pallets behind the dumpsters. So I decided I wanted to make a picnic table for us to eat lunch at, and I also wanted to do an experiment in using templates So what I did is I cut a template on Maslow, and this template is built on the idea of sort of a story stick, which basically this, this template contains all the information you need to build the picnic table. So you don't need to use a tape measure at this point. And the way it works is that the template has a bunch of tracks in it, and each of those tracks fits this router bushing, which is on the bottom of the router. And it lets you, it basically guides the router to cut that that two by four to the correct shape. And this technique is a little bit of overkill for making something like a picnic table, which is already not incredibly complicated, but I can imagine for something like say a gazebo that has more angles uh, and more joints, this technique could be um, really, really beneficial. And I was really impressed with how well this technique worked to create uh, very precise parts. You can really create any, transfer any shape into your 2x4 this way, especially the mortise and tenon joints on this. I don't think I would have had the skill to do those uh, any other way, at least not and had them fit so cleanly and so snugly. You can see the quality of the cuts is really nice. And so before I started cutting them with the router, I used the template just to trace out uh, a rough, rough sketch of where the edges would be. And I cut them down to size on a bandsaw. You could use a jigsaw for that as well. The template also has uh, drilling holes for where all the bolts that hold the table together will go. All the parts fit together really well. They were a little bit snug, and I ended up sanding the parts in terms of the uh, the dimension of the 2x4, just because a 2x4 isn't manufactured all that precisely. Here you can see the center structure of the table coming together, and after that it was pretty much just a matter of putting on the planks that make up the benches and the top of the table. Thanks for watching.